Kids in foster care have been through so much trauma, not only what they've seen and experienced, but also being separated from their biological family. There is a group of adults committed to helping them heal, and they are doing it on the banks of rivers like this through fly fishing, giving them a sport they can do for the rest of their life. You getting there, bud? <laughs> go catch some fish with Mr. Shane. You ready to go? Mark. You want to go fish? Let's go do it. Ready to go fish? Come on, let's go. As we all know, foster children come with a degree of trauma. How's it going, buddy? Being able to work with the kids in this aspect is wonderful. <laughs> There's a lot of joy. Ready to do some fishing, buddy? Oh, no. <laughs> a lot of laughs, a lot of joking around, All right. and a lot of learning going on. Snap it forward. Mayfly Project is a program that was developed 15 years ago. There are actually two founders in Arkansas and in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. They decided that through fly fishing, they found it to be therapeutic for themselves, so they thought about how to branch out to benefit others through fly fishing. And they decided that the best to reach out to children and youth, and those youth turned out to be best suited within the foster care system. The Mayfly Project mentors youth ages eight to 18 and teaches them how to fly fish. From the very beginning? From the very beginning. Nationally, most of the individuals that come into the program have never fly fished before. And so we gotta pull out the leader line, which is the clear stuff. We have to introduce them not only to fly fishing, but the fly rod, how to put it together, how to put the line on. Generally kind of try to thread through the eyelets. Start to finish, we teach them everything, and when they finish our program, they get every piece of equipment they need to continue fly fishing from that point forward. I'm Scott Barrier, and I am the project lead for Mayfly Project here in Roanoke. Mm -hmm. The purpose is to give them brain rest. Hold the rod. I'll pull the line for you. Right? To give them coping mechanisms other than what they might find in the day-to-day -day world. So to come out, learn a skill that they can practice their entire life from that point forward. Enjoy nature. Enjoy the sound of the water. Be alone. Be focused. Be with someone they like and enjoy being with, perhaps, if they're not alone but just focusing on something that takes their mind away from their day-to-day -day cares. Ooh, I saw some movement under there. Come here. Be ready, be ready. Got it. Right, pull it in just a little bit. Pull, pull it in. in. Pull it in. I love working with kids. I train kids at my own business, and oh, I've been fly fishing since I was 10 years old. I'm Shane Schubert, and I'm one of the mentors here with Roanoke Mayfly Project. Right there, too. Right there. There's three right there. When I found out about the Mayfly Project and it was working with kids that need us as adults, I couldn't not do it. Oh, there it is. It's helped Devin and myself to kind of bond, you know, in a way that gives him an opportunity to kind of teach me stuff. You know, normally it's me trying to teach him something. And the things that he has learned, you know, with this organization and stuff, he's able to to teach me stuff that I've never, you know, never would have dreamed of possible. Um, everything from how to tie a lure, like um, how to cast, you know, those are things that I thought I knew, but I didn't. <laughs> Did you know how to fly fish before you started this? Nope. I didn't even know what fly fishing was. This has just been a great opportunity for him to uh, release, uh, gives him enjoyment, gives him an opportunity to be himself, gives him an, a chance to kind of do his own thing. He can be that independent teenager that he needs to be. The fish hits. The youth love right the one-on-one -on -one time, and it makes me reflect on that all the time when we're together with them. They're used to going to school in a group, they're used to maybe playing sports in a group, but being one-on-one -on -one to learn a skill and to have someone coach you through it is really special. Try to get right, that ought to work right there, just let her sit right there. From the very first meeting, what we saw was such excitement and appreciation from the kids to learn a new skill. We had all gone through a lot of training with this and we saw it come true that they responded to trusting adults 
and that was just a beautiful part from the first meeting all the way through our fifth session. The relationships that were built along the way and the skill set that was uh, learned on both parties was just, it was just fantastic. You gave me that look like we ain't caught a fish yet. You're right, we haven't. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Devin. That's a nice one. Way to net him, buddy. What is it like when they catch that first fish? Oh, it can be scared or it can be so much joy that you got to make sure they don't drop their rod with the fish still on it. It's just total excitement. There you go. And more. There you go. Let it roll. It's more than fly fishing. It's the contact ability for those individuals that are participating, those young youth who are very influential, to have an adult that they can trust and depend on. Because one of the things we don't want to do is let them down. They've had a lot of disappointments in their life, and we want to give them hope, give them some trust in adults, bring them here, show them that we care about them. Are there any limitations to this program? If we can fundraise appropriately, then we can sustain the program. If we don't have the money, then it becomes that much harder. You know, we'd like to have more youth in the program, but we can only support so many financially. It costs approximately $800 to put a child through this program, and that's gearing them up with all the gear that they need when they participate here uh, through our five sessions and also the purchase of all the gear that they will need when they leave. They get their rods, their reels, their nets, all their flies, everything they need to go on and fish on their own from that point forward. To see these kids that have gone through so much in their young lives come out here and be able to forget it all and be able to just be a kid, what is that like? It's amazing. They, it's like I said, they just, they, they change. They go from a kid that's struggling with things that we don't have any idea, but you can see that in their face. And just before they leave, even on the first session, that's been wiped off their face. He gets to be at peace. He gets to, he gets to relax. He gets to be, do what he enjoys. And so this is just, um, I see, I see contentment. We thought it was all about the fishing, and what we found out is that it's all about the kids and the mentors and the community that is built around them to support them through a tough time that they're going through. These mentors are so committed to not letting these kids down, they don't cancel sessions for any reason, including the weather. They're hoping for more kids to get involved in 2025. Now, if you're interested in getting involved, there are Mayfly Project groups around the country.